In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a defensive blitzing concept that I think is going to be very effective post Madden 21 patch. There's a patch coming out in a couple of days that is going to kind of change a little bit of the meta right now. And I feel like, you know, my channel was on the cutting edge of this because, again, we post four times a day here on YouTube. And we stream every night. For those of you that don't know, maybe this is your first video uh, checking out that I do. My name is Cody. We make tips and tricks videos, videos that break down um, Madden tips and tricks on offensive side, defensive side. My favorite thing to do on defense is blitz. And so we've been talking about for a while now uh, this contained blitz. And my channel, I feel like from our Nickel 35 ebook, we talk a lot about this blitz. Um, this simple uh, glitch in the game basically with contains where the contains will essentially um, kind of flip into into a into a, um, a blocking mechanic. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So um, you'll see this a lot right now. It's kind of going around the community. I think it's uh, let's just take it from nickel 55 wide and we're going to get into this in just a second. But for, the, for those of you that have never seen a video of mine, if you want to just go ahead and click that subscribe button, that subscribe button is going to allow you to catch all of my content when I go live and all of that fun stuff. So I would love for you guys to be able to stay tuned. But basically all you do is you take two, you take a, a three down lineman set, you pinch the line, you crash it down. Now, I personally don't think that's the best way to do it, but this is what everybody's talking about on YouTube. I've been seeing a lot of videos, um, a lot of people releasing this as quote unquote the best blitz in Madden. What you'll see here is basically what they're going to do is they're going to get um, disengages. They're going to, the way the mechanics, the uh, line work is this idea of we're going to pass players off on one another. So what that really boils down to, especially this year um, for defense, is these contains have done a good job early on in Madden of giving you these little swap um, disengage type of blitzes. We'll show you this uh, from a formation. I personally like this a little bit better. I'll show it to you from this formation out of um, out of 3-4. Uh, we also run nickel 55 uh, normal. We'll show you uh, one of those blitzing concepts here in just a second. But this is kind of going, it's on its way out. It does have a shelf life. So Madden um, has come out and they've said they're going to patch this this blitz, um, which is fine. You know, um, as new new things happen, new things come and go and, and good blitzing concepts. You see here, this, these disengages that you would get, and it might already even be patched, but it, it's very effective. Okay, it's very effective. You can get pressure. I think Kilo posted a video um, on the Discord. He he posted a video about um, doing it from I think dollar or from dime one four six. You see, you get these disengages, right? And it just makes the pressure work better. What we're going to talk about in, in this video today is a way to get the same type. Of, what I see the meta moving toward from a blitzy perspective. What I see that you could do uh, right now to kind of start labbing up your own pressures. And I was working on this down on the 4.6 Bear because we're looking at updating our defensive guide with some stuff, some concepts from 4.6 Bear, 3.4 Bear, and all that stuff. And so if you haven't already picked up the guide, you can do that. That defensive and offensive bundle guide with my full offense, full defense for the year is uh, in the description of this video. Now, the you can, it doesn't matter the play you pick. I think wall stunt works best, but you can just do it. I cover three out of 4.6 Bear. It, it really um, – the one I was working on is actually Slant Week 2. So literally all I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, spy Davidson and I'm going to zone out this uh, triangle receiver. So three man, very simple three man pressure. But what you'll see is the, the same kind of concept that we were talking about from um, that we were that we were talking about from the disengage type of blitzes that you're going to see. You're going to see the same basic concept start to come to fruition here in just a second so we'll just blitz this guy here and what you'll see is you're going to see that that little shoot that you get at that a gap now the, what i like about this is you can do this without having to use contains because if you were running four six if you were asking me you know within a couple of uh, a couple of days ago you know what would you do from four six well this is what i would do i would do something as simple as this right here with five man pressure from four six you throw the contains on there it makes everything better as you're going to see you're going to get double a gap pressure from those guys right we talked about this on the on the channel this type of pressure works very very well well what we're going to do right now is we are going to kind of shift a little bit of gears here um, and we're going to go to more of a uh, more of a blitz angle based pressure. And as you see there, these disengages from slant week three, you're only sending five people to quarterback. But these disengages when you blitz from depth, the idea of 
what I call a swap exchange, right? Stunting your linemen, exchanging your linemen. When you pinch the linebackers in, if you crash your line to the left here, pinch your linebackers in, you're going to get really good swap exchanges, and you're going to see that we typically will get some disengage type of pressures. Now, this concept can continue to go through variety of different defenses that you're going to be able to, to, to lock in against. And what it's going to force is I think what you're going to see a lot of people do this year and this is just my opinion, what you're going to see a lot of people do is you're going to see a lot of overloading to one side and dropping off of the other side. But also within that, you're going to see a lot of um, you're going to see a lot of like slanting to the strong side. You see right here, I'm, I'm crashing my line to the strong side. And what that's going to do is it's going to create this this angle for the nose guard. It doesn't have to have a contain. This is not a contain. This is literally what I'm doing. Here's the exact setup for you. Slant crash three left for four six bear. All you're gonna do, you're gonna slant your line to the right. Okay, so to the strong side, right? To the strong side. Then you're just gonna zone your left of screen defensive end. Now you're still only blitzing, um, I think I'm only blitzing five here. Yeah, so you're only blitzing five, snap of the ball, you're gonna see, you're gonna get that disengage. You see how that A gap wants to come in. It, you know, really, it really does want to come in. And what you can do is you're going to be able to do some things off of this. So, for example, what I, one of the things you might be able to do is you might be able to zone out this linebacker on the left side and then do something like this, right? This is, you know, very, very simple pressure concept. You see, you get that disengage A gap just like that. That's what I'm talking about. You're going to see this. You're going to see this blitzing concept. It's not going to go anywhere. The contains just make it, I think, a little glitchier from like a 3-4 odd. But four six defense, three four bear defenses. Those those base um, defenses, in my opinion, this year are still going to be very very effective uh, because of the way the zone zone swap exchange, um, the disengage blitz is the way that it go. It's is by far the way to go because what the offense is going to have to do to stop it is they're going to leave themselves vulnerable. Okay, they're going to leave themselves uh, very very vulnerable to edge pressure. Right, if you're just running just a standard. Um, standard edge pressure. What you'll see here is if I double team the nose guard to take him out of the play, snap of the ball, and what you're going to see is you're going to get you're going to get that left side nose guard. You see the disengage is 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 working very well. Now, if let's say I was in let's say I'm in this four six slant three, and I do the same setup here, but I drop off. Let's say I drop off. One of the, both of these linebackers, right? It doesn't matter who you drop off. You just need five man um, or a simple four man to one side, strong side blitzing concept. Snap of the ball. What you're going to see is you're going to get that. Um, I think I forgot to double team. Forget to do the double team on the nose. But what it's going to do is it's going to open up edge pressures for you. They're going to have to double team the nose because the disengaged blocks are just too good this year. Um, and then what's going to happen is you're going to then be allowed very, very easily to. Uh, blitz off the edge. You'll see right here. You see how you get that left side nose guard is going to come through? When you don't contain, I think it actually makes the defense work a little bit better. It makes it work a little bit differently, but works a little bit better. Uh, in fact, what you can do also is let's say you know Let's say you know that they're going to go to that um, pass protection. Let's just say you know that they're going to do that. Well, this is a simple five-man uh, blitzing concept overload to the right side. Now, again, what you'd want to do is you'd want to drop everybody in zones uh, on that left side. But this is what I'm talking about, about simple overload pressure. Now, if they double-team your nose, that back or that play side blitz is going to come screaming right off the edge. You see right there. Very, very simple pressure. So um, two blitzes I want to give to you today. Two blitzes. Okay, the first one is um, the A-gap. So the A-gap pressure, very, very simply, all you're going to do is you're going to crash your line to the right, slant to the right. You're going to uh, spy this guy right here. Um, you can also bluff blitz him, but I like to spy him. And then you're going to take your uh, linebacker here on the edge, this guy right here, Robinson, and you're going to just throw him in any zone you want. You can put him in a vertical hook or whatever. And what you'll see is you're going to get some pretty decent disengage pressure right up the A-gap. Right there didn't come completely free, but it will come free in games. Okay, I, I'm, I'm just telling you. Now, the second thing that you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to audible to cover three. Um, and all you're going to do is you're going to uh, essentially just blitz this right of screen guy right here. And then you're going to take Davis and you're going to put him on a spy. And what this is is a four-man blitzing concept to the right side of the screen. 
they're going to double team the nose and you're going to see you're going to get that screaming gap pressure right off the edge. The double team of the nose is going to hold all those backside linemen. That's why the disengage blitz is so powerful because it's going to open up what I talk about, especially in the soft, in the defensive ebook that I just wrote. You want to leverage the disengage blitz is the A-gap pressure. A-gap pressure leads to edge pressure in this year's game. All right, A-gap pressure leads to edge pressure. Try to get the passive A-gap, make them do some things to stop the A-gap, then you're running the edge pressure, okay? You really do need to mix and mix up your blitzes this year, I think more than any other year, but these are two concepts that I could see. It's not just for 4-6 bear, this is gonna apply. Now, even though 4-6 bear, I gave you two today, but 4-6 bear, this applies, and also it will apply, um, it will apply to, um, any, any other formation, it might apply, you'll see it'll it'll apply to 3-4 bear. It'll apply to 3-3-5 three, three, wide. It'll apply to all sorts of things. You see the disengage blitz is gonna, it's not gonna go anywhere. If anything, I think the disengage blitz is gonna make it so that you have to run more of these, these type of sets that you see me running right here. These four down lineman sets, four down lineman sets, because the four down lineman set is going to make this even better uh, within this. You see this simple disengage blitz. We get nano detected on that play, but you're gonna see a lot more strong side uh, overload blitzing techniques. But anyway, that's four six bear for you. And we will see you guys uh, later on tonight. Again, if you haven't already, you want free blitzes, you want some tips and tricks from guys that aren't just me, join our Discord. Our Discord is the best possible way for you to improve your game in Madden because we've got multiple people in the conversation. You're going to be able to ask your questions. You're going to be able to help other people. I've learned so much from my Discord members. So, again, guys, this is a blitzing concept. I think you're going to see a lot more uh, in the coming weeks in Madden. But to me, if you're wanting to take your defense to the next level, if you want to take your entire game to the next level, I feel like my channel is typically on the front end of, especially on the blitzing side of things, we typically are on the front end of some solid concepts that can help you do that. And so, you know, go ahead and subscribe. Again, we post four times a day here on YouTube. We live stream every single night. The Discord ultimately is the best possible place to get better, but start with the YouTube if you don't feel comfortable talking to other people. But I would obviously say, if you really want to get better, Discord is the best way to do that. Sure, subscribe, but that next step is Discord. So we'll see you guys tonight on our stream.